So in this paragraph, the author proceeds by. So proceeds by means uh, what's the method of the argument. So we have uh, birds contain a gizzard where um, stones go and then grind up food. That's the first part. Uh, then from that uh, information, um, paleontologists' discovery of stones in an organ adjacent to the stomach of the Archaeopteryx um, suggests that the Archaeopteryx sometimes swallowed its food whole rather than using its dull teeth. So uh, they have uh, modern birds are uh, stones plus gizzard. Uh, so Archaeopteryx, which I'm not going <laughs> to... Arc, we'll just call it Arc. Archaeopteryx, they found some stones and they are drawing the conclusion based on modern birds that there may have been a gizzard there or something like it which caused the Archaeopteryx to sometimes swallow its food whole. So we're going from modern evidence to um, drawing conclusions about this um, ancient bird. Okay, so um, let's look for that in the answer choices. A, suggesting a possible explanation for several apparently contradictory pieces of evidence. We only have one piece of evidence, and it's not contradictory. Uh, B, provide an alternative interpretation of evidence that is first used to support a preliminary theory. We only have one interpretation, so there's no alternate. Uh, C, drawing an analogy from a well-understood phenomenon to explain a less clear phenomenon. Well, this sounds likely. We understand how birds' gizzards work with the stones and the grinding up the food and the whatnot. Um, and drawing an analogy to modern birds, um, we are trying to understand this discovery of stones in an organ adjacent to the stomach, by analogy to modern, to a modern animal. You don't actually have to know that Archaeopteryx is an ancient bird. You, it could be a lizard for all you care. Um, all that matters is that they're drawing an analogy to this ancient thing that we don't know as much about um, and using modern, well-understood stuff by analogy. So... Choice C.